Welcome back to Blender Sushi Live. In this episode, I want to show you how you can remix um, an assets from Sketchfab, like in this Spider-Man, and my dance from the other day, and turn it into a dancing soldiers. In the uh, this is from Squid Game, uh, Netflix uh, shows, and this is the the characters, the minions, or the soldiers, or the squad, whatever you call it, Squid Squad. This is animating in Blender. 2. Point, uh, this is Blender 3.0 because I need to use the geometry nodes to do the instancing. So originally we only have like a couple of dancing soldiers. If I I will refill the whole thing, uh, so we're gonna go backward. So first of all, here I have just like a circle, and we have of course the point instancing using point distribute. And I randomize the rotations, uh, and the rotation is actually based on this guy over here that's currently hidden. So I perhaps I should just zero out the position. So I have all the instances now on the on the same spot. I can hide the original master. Now I can instance this guy and randomize the rotations a little bit better. Can still rotate the, the character but anyhow I I can scale the soldiers to the right size so we have like a crowd of these soldiers and yeah this uh, squid game actually have a really nice character like this is very simple to create in a way you kind of like make the mask and then in this case i'm using this spider-man character that can be downloaded it's available for free from no more feelings and yeah what i did earlier of course i simply first of all i downloaded the assets so it's gonna be gltf so this is how it looks at the beginning from mixamo it's very simple so you, can, you have the head, the bodysuit, the hands, and the shoes. Each one of them with the material. The one that's coming from Sketchfab, sometimes the material is a little bit funky. This is like the old ways we do stuff. You might need to convert it into principles, BSDF. So basically, yeah, you need to adjust the material until you have something that you can work on, like... A, this one let me take a look okay this one already painted with a squid soldiers mask so it's no longer spider-man so this guy it's very easy to work with because you only have like a, the mask part we can just use texture painting and just paint the character whatever we like in this case yeah just uh, soldiers we can actually make like a new soldiers with with a cross mark like uh, the play playstation logo and then you save it as a new character so this is number four this character of course already have um, armature okay and this armature was actually from Mixamo. The dance is from the dance is my my own dance. This is from the other day. Of course, you can download it, and you get the the bones. So what you did, uh, after you do the texturing, you upload it into Mixamo and then just rig the character so you have the bones, and then you use Rococo to transfer the animations. And then you do this only you don't need, you only need to do this one time because you already have like different textures so all you need to do um, after you work with mixamo and rococo with blender 2.92 all you need to do is to bring it into blender 3.0 so let me show you import I'm actually a pen so this is how I do it 
just append the object four times. Okay, I have extra stuff. So we have four different soldiers. With the same okay with the same uh, texture and you simply need to replace it three this one two one zero so we have PlayStation kind of like a PlayStation logo there so each one of these you need to put it into different collections in order to turn it into crowd system um, I also you might notice also the animations you might want to go to post mode and just offset this slightly so each one of them is slightly different make sure you select all the bones and then just shift it Because they are practically practically they're the same, but you can you can actually make your own animations and then try transferring it. So each one can be different. You can make like multiple animations. Now you have four different soldiers. In order to to do the instancing properly, you might want to right click, select hierarchy, put it into a collection, new collections. Call it soldier A, B, C, D. Yeah, probably this can be automated, but you can do it very quickly anyway. Soldi, file save as <coughs> squid squad. Squid army, oh yes, good army, it's easier. So we have these animations. So from these collections, we gonna put all of them into a new collection. Actually, just uh, create new collections, call it squid. Move those into new collections. So, so now we are ready actually just to scatter the soldiers. So this is the floor. Point distribute. We have points, instance, collections. Use the whole collections and then squid. So we have all of this. We need to scale. We can hide the original. We might need to reset the position position of the character. One, two, three, four. I'm selecting the armature and then reset the positions. So now where's the plane? Okay, the plane needs to be outside. Okay, so we got our soldiers now. We can use random, we can use pause on this so they're they have certain distance. So now we have the whole soldiers. So based on the just the Spider-Man asset, so there's a lot of assets in Sketchfab that really you can pretty much make feature film or like a short film uh, using whatever that's available for free. In this case, of course, you you can you always need to maybe credit the creators at some point. 
check under the downloads usually there's a like license um yeah the orders thanks to the orders no more fillings so we have this character now we can randomize the rotation uh, attribute randomize randomize the vector of rotation this is because point data you can simply rotate the thing in z axis more or less like this we have some minions now dancing yeah okay so that's pretty easy and it's pretty fun to do actually like with the assets um you can just remix this into anything but because the character is uh the way it's been created it's a uh, super simple um the design also is like uh the players and then the workers soldiers it's very clear in this game it's very fun to recreate oh this is the boss maybe we can make this mask next time all right so thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye